Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, with P Valley, I know it's the second week in a row. Y'all didn't get it live, but it's the <laughs> freaking weekend. It's the holiday weekend. Yeah. And we have a lot going on. So we we fitting it in how we can get it in. Yeah. But listen, it's the finale, and I need more. Like, real talk. Yeah. And I know that this was kind of like a pilot season to see how everybody would take, you know, something like this. I wasn't ready. Yeah. I really yeah. wasn't ready. And yeah. this finale for me felt so rushed. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted it had anything to do with COVID. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know what? I didn't think about that. Yeah. It could have been that the season was slated for a certain amount of episodes and then we had to do what we had to do. Yeah. So, yeah. But I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to talk skit about this last episode, right? Yeah. So, y'all know that last week they were gearing up for murder night, mm -hmm. which was going to be the last night of the paint as we know it because it was going on the auction block the next day. So that night, of course, you have Diamond at the door. You have Big Al at the door making sure don't nobody bring the booze, no no, 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 no weapons, no, no knives. knives, no nothing at the door. <laughs> so that seemed to be going off without a hitch and whatnot. So we get inside the club and everybody is waiting for murder night. We have Lil Murder back there with his blue hat, his chinchilla. I mean, he's ready to get it on and she pop it. So finally, Mississippi comes through and she takes his hand and they walk out there and they, they killed ripped, it. They ripped it. Yeah, I mean, bro. they ripped a yeah. new one into the paint. Yeah. I mean, I seen titties <laughs> out. I mean, it was but just my, a lot. But my question is, why we always save the best for last? For last, man. Why couldn't you been giving them that all along? Why the last night before you I go know why? Out? Because they wouldn't give Lil Murder a chance. Lil Murder was coming yeah, through was with trying. that slaw though. Yeah. <laughs> so every time he was presenting them with slaw, then he finally get a hit. And of course he get a hit in the ninth hour, like the church folks say. Yeah, it's just it's just that, that last night, the last night before you get married, you gotta gotta go in hard. The the stop last talking. the last night before you go on vacation. <laughs> stop. stop talking. Please. <laughs> but any hoodles. So what had confused me was y'all know that Lil Murder had to be stripped down butterball naked with his all with his hind parts hanging out in order for him to get over his fear of stage fright, right? From that Lil Murder to this Lil Murder having like a whole diss track, right. a whole six single C D. Yeah. When did this happen? Like yeah. when did he write all these songs? Yeah, cause we were performing <laughs> like hours, right? Well, we don't <laughs> say it's hours. Yeah. But at least he was up there for three different songs. Yeah, he did. With choreography. When did this happen? You know what? We we just gonna write it off. That's songs that he had in the pocket. That just in case slow? he Yeah, just in case he blew up. So he just fit him in there this night, right? Oh, here. that's what we're gonna say. That's that's what he did. So of course y'all know that Martavius, Octavius, whatever the hell his name is, he came through on last week's episode and took um Autumn Knight back there to the back into the Paradise Room. Still don't know why the them. hell she went back there and, with it. And that's what I said. Why the hell you do that? I and mean, they were back there for a very long time. So he ends up yanking her up, choking her up, and he's asking about his two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Was like, I know you took my money. And then come to find out, a lot of truth came out. I thought that was her husband. Nah. It's not her husband. Nah, they but just, they, that's they. Yeah, but he seems to be a lieutenant in some kind of gang. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what? And they named the gang, but it didn't seem familiar to me. But the way they were describing it, I'm not going to try to be funny. And if it offends some folk, oh, well, um, if I should pop up dead, y'all know that the, <laughs> that, the, that the Masons did it. It reminded <laughs> right. me of the Masons. Yeah, that's what I thought about, too. Yeah. And then what happened Free was... Mace. Y'all know that old boy, big boy, that be babysitting the ankle bracelet for, um, I can't think of his name right now. But the guy yeah. that always comes through yeah. from Mercedes, he popped up at the club with a fake ID so that he can get in there because old boy has sent uh, a flyer, the flyer with all the nice face on it. He has sent that flyer by big boy over there to the paint to give it to Mercedes so that Mercedes would know no, that you your girl ain't on the up and up. Like, something is up with your girl. Yeah. So when um Mercedes got the flyer, she looked at it, but she saw the ring in the photo of the flyer, and it clicked with last, well, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> of what she just saw on Octavius Octavius' um, hand 
So she immediately was like, this girl in trouble. Yeah, I got to go see about this right here. If she's on the run, and then we got this money thing going on, and now, yeah, let me get back <laughs> that to the Paradise Room. So she played it cool. She ended up getting uh, acting like that she was providing some bottle service that was complimentary for when you go into to the Paradise Room. And an extra set of tags. And an extra set of t tags. Well, she gets back there, and she's trying to, you know, you know how females we talking code. Was like, uh, you good girl? You know, you need my help. Da -da. And this is what pissed me off about Mercedes. You mean to tell me you're going to try to bust him upside the head, but you're going to give him an opportunity to see what the hell you're doing first? Yeah, you're going to bust the bottle first. Then. And then try to slag him. No, you nah, bust, bust him across him the head, head with the bottle and break. You yeah. let the bottle break and then you slice him. Yeah. That's yeah, that a good one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. You, when you break, you break it, he already on alert then, so yeah. you can't get it. And for a dude to come through like that, he already was ready. Yep. God darn. So they're, they're confident in the fact that at some point, Big Al or Diamond going to come through and they're going to save us because there's cameras in the Paradise Room so that they know that things aren't going too far and that titties ain't being shown because, you know, they can't have none of that going on right now. <laughs> so they keep looking up at the cameras like, when the hell is somebody going to come through and save us? Yeah. Ain't nobody come through. Nobody. As of yet. Big Al supposed to be going. But Big Al got something else going on. Yeah. So Big Al back there in the back running pills with Gidget's dude because at this point I can't even be mad at Big Al for Oh he got I mean Yeah, this, he got he gotta keep food on his table, so I understand. This is the last day on the job. Yeah, so we don't know <laughs> he, the people be saved tomorrow or hey, not. So hey, it's like when people get fired from corporate America when they last day they taking all the ink pans, notepads, but I have sticky notes. They I got one question. They okay. look like they had about uh, probably about a hundred boxes of pills in there, probably, and it yeah. looked like it was like two hundred fifty count in each bottle. How in the hell y'all planning on pushing all them through the club that night? Yeah, a lot of that yeah. was a lot. Yeah, unless you got a whole lot of fiends around there in that town, and just only y'all two. How in the hell? Well, it took them forty five minutes to unload from the goddamn truck. Yeah, what it felt like. <laughs> so inside the club, right? After Little Murder and Mississippi put, um, finished their performance, right, you know that that scout had came down to actually see Little Murder and all that good stuff. And <sighs> Homeboy sounded like he was trying to sell himself on Mississippi. And then Little Murder was just collateral. Like, you could come in on the package deal. Yeah. But he, he really had his sights on Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So there was at some point where he was just telling Little Murder, you know, I need that real. I don't want these dudes that's out here faking and fraud. And I need that real, that scroll or all that. And, you know, Little Murder, he know who he is. And now he's at in this position where I'm the realist. You know, what I rap yeah. about is what mm -hmm. I'm about. Wow. And I'm yeah. like... This is going to go real south real quick. So then we see Uncle Clifford. She come pooching through. And I said, okay. I, like, I don't well, know what, I don't, I don't know, know if this is going to be y'all casual, little murder, little it, knuckle. Yeah, is this come out the dark time? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So Uncle Clifford pooched on. And but she put her hand on Lil Murder and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lil Murder was like, we haven't, we, we haven't. about that business right now. We about right that now. business right now. Like, you need to go on. I said, ooh. But it's kind of a catch-22, it though. It is. It's, it's like, like we were talking before we got on camera. We was yeah. like, Uncle Clifford, she wanted to stay in the closet, you know, stay in the dark. But Lil Murder didn't want to, you know, fucking suck. In the dark. But she was like, this is where we need to stay. So you change, you change the trajectory, you, yeah. but we, you didn't tell me you changed yeah, the yeah. what we were going to do. So it went through me for a loop too. be like, if, if we were screwing around yeah. and we won't with each other and when we get out of public, we just act like, Hey, you know, yeah, I know you. Ha, ha, ha. And then the next day, you know, we out. And you come over and, hey, how you doing, boo? And, like, you, and, you, and you ignore me and I get mad. Yeah, but like, when, yeah. when did the rules change? Yeah, I didn't So get, I get I, it. I didn't get a text, yeah. email, nothing to change. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you just threw me into the change like menopause did. So we saw Uncle Clifford in the back all in her feelings. I mean, taking the bottle Toe to up. the head, taking the glass to the head and was like, <sighs> So I knew whenever that meeting was going to be over with, 
Lil Murder was going to come back there and see what the heck was going on. And Lil Murder is conflicted. It's like, who I am is who I am. And I'm not conflicted about that. Right. But I don't know what to do. Like, mm -hmm. I'm in a position where I want my music to pop. I want my career to pop. But do I want to jeopardize that by being my authentic self right off the rip? Before people can see me, mm -hmm. I don't want the label to be put on me. And it's, that's, that's, that's hard. A sad, that's a sad. That's tough. That's our world, though. It's so sad. It is. Because, it's, like, like um, what's the guy that play, um, that sing Old Town Road? Yeah. He came out after that. Yeah. But look at how much heat he received when everybody mm -hmm. realized that he was gay. Right. So so the world the world said that they want you to be real. But and, they don't. But until you become real, and that's when they, you know. They were like, oh, no, no. Stick it to your Too ass. real. Too real. <laughs> yeah, it's too, yeah, yeah. Like look, like Kevin Hart said, pineapples. Pineapples. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. So I was like, oh, this, this is bad. So we go back into the club, right? And... Um, Derek, Mississippi's boyfriend, he was there that night. And you could tell that that was going to be a murderous night for Mississippi by the mm -hmm. way that he was interacting with her, the way that he was watching her. Yeah. And she was having conversations with those dudes. And he was constantly coming back there, calling her name. And she was like, I'm about my business right now. And I'm like, dude. Um, you at her job. Yeah. I mean, for real. I mean, you're at yeah, her you job. at her job. Yeah. This is what she does. I mean... I, and I was she good with it because you let her come there, you know, she come there, come there beat up, but you do let her come. So, he ended up yanking her up because he told her, you need to come home and you need to come home now. And if you don't come home, it's going to be a problem. She was like, it's pretty much it's going to be a problem when I do come home. So, yep. pretty much let me finish what I'm doing so I can take my beating when I get home. So, Diamond saw that he had yanked me. I, um, I knew he saw uh -huh, before we knew uh -huh, he saw. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. I said that pit bull. That, I said, that pit bull. Pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> that pit bull was hiding in some corner, watching. Mm -hmm. I knew it. So, Diamond ends up going to the bathroom where Derek was taking him a leaky leak, and pretty much gave everybody the signal, "Get the heck up out of here!" Everybody scudaddled. I said, oh, yeah. "Oh, they know that's it's about mm -hmm. that work." And they ended up having a fight. And I said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." I'm not respecting this white boy. Yeah, to give Domin a, uh, yeah. To be giving it to Domin. He gave Domin a fight, bro. Yeah, he did. So can yeah. you imagine what he does to Mississippi if that's the way he handled Lime. Big Diamond? Exactly. Like, trained Diamond, like military yeah. trained Diamond. Yep. So this dude wasn't the BF with, real talk. And he using the N-word to us at Diamond. You should have shot him for doing that. But anyway, so they ended up fighting all the way out there back to the dance floor on near the poles. Some kind of way there was a gun. I don't know if Derek snuck a gun in the club or was that a gun that Diamond had? I really wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. But there became that. a struggle over a gun. And I was like, listen, we don't need Diamond to get shot. No. Nah, We're uh -huh. not fitting to do that. And then the next motherfucking thing we know, we see Mississippi come from out the dark and she has a gun pulled out that looks like the gun that Autumn had because it was pink. Yeah. And... She pulls the gun, but she puts it on Diamond. Diamond. I was like, what? See, is this really happening right now? Out of all people, you pull, you pull the gun out on the person that loves you and saves you every freaking chance he gets. You pull the gun on Diamond. So in my mind, as my B would say, in my mind, I said, okay, she's going to get that gun and get Diamond up off of this man. So and get him to back away. Yeah. So that she can do what? So she can shoot. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. See? So you come to be rescue, rescue a man that's been kicking your tail every single day. And a matter of fact, he wants you to come home then so he can whoop your tail then. That's, some dom that's domestic violence, man. I have yet to ever understand it, and I thank God I've never had to process it. But my God, and, mm. and then that's a that's a it was a lot of teachable moments in that scene right there. Yeah. The 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 bad part of it is it teaches you that you just gotta stay out, out of people's, people's business. Yep. Because mm -hmm. Diamond could have got his ace shot 
Yep. For trying to stick up for somebody that don't want to be stuck up for. Yep. And that's horrible. Yep. It is horrible that you can see somebody being wronged at every turn. But it's really nothing that you can do until they ask for the help. Yeah. And I mean, that's just like life. You can know somebody that's going through something like that. Yeah. And you want to help them and you want to save them. And you will end up being the person hurt. Yep. Because if they're not ready to leave, they're going going right right back back. to them. And then they would take that person's side against you. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get hurt on every turn. Mm -hmm. And like Stella had said, he was like, you know, in fairness, she never asked Diamond to get in her business. I said, but, (laughs) but like he said, he said, but. When the business was yeah, happening at the, club, at the place of business, yeah. then it's my duty yeah, to, to exactly. work up on it. Yep. So back in the Paradise Room, things was getting a little, little strange after, after that whole incident about the money. Not the money, but the incident about the um, the bottle being hit up across the head. And now he has Mercedes in a choco. Like, blackout choco and told, um, oh, Autumn, you, you need to find money. my money. Five minutes. We got five minutes. Five minutes or this chick stops breathing. And he was like, everybody knows that I'm down here. So if you do something to their lieutenant, they come in and look for you. And I said, Mason. Mason. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Listen, I ain't trying to say nothing crazy about the Masons, but I'm going to tell you one thing that I do know. I know people that's married to Masons and they don't know what it is that their husbands do. Nope. They don't know what's in the briefcase. They don't touch the briefcase. They don't touch certain things. They don't ask no questions about yep. what the hell is going down at the lodge. That's all right. You just know I go down there and take care of business. And I pay dues and yep. I got a ring. Yep. And at fumes, we do a special little <laughs> and sprinkle some dust. That's all you know. <laughs> hey, if I turn up missing, you know them goddamn maces got me. <laughs> We in Virginia's a whole lot of them here. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them in the church there in the trustee boy. Yep. They sliding that $250,000 through the, through, the, through the church. Yep. They deacon. <laughs> <too, man. laughs> yeah, man. I'm trying to tell you. I know a lot of Masons now. Yep. I know a lot of them. So, uh, <laughs> so then she said, he said, you need to go over there and get the Masons money and you got five minutes. Let me say five minutes to bring the skit back. But we saw all them get in like, there. I, it's like, like you changed. leave. I was like, you leaving? Changed her really? whole outfit, put on her track shoes, and, and she all was... ass. What? Oh, yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you gonna something. leave it in? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> and, Try. And Montavious told um Miss um the too many M's. Mercedes said she ain't come. In so many words, I don't think she coming back. Yep. You might think you know her. But you don't know her yeah. like I be knowing her. She done left me a whole lot of time. She shot me and <laughs> she left, left me. me. I said, but well, that's the purpose of shooting you. She, what's she coming right. back for? So and in other words, he was saying, she ain't coming back for you, sis. Said, so you about to, <laughs> to die, die, die. She ain't coming back for you. And in my mind, I said, that that's going to be true. A big owl or somebody don't look at them cameras. You good as dead right about now, Mercedes. So next thing we know, she did pop back up into the, to the Paradise Room. And she had the duffel bag with the two fifty in it. I said, "Oh Lord, have mercy!" But I said, "This still don't put y'all off the hook. Like you think he just gonna take the two fifty and just let and y'all just, go and just walk away?" Yeah. Right. I mean, this is not how this works. Yes. So next thing we know, on Clifford saw that there was some skit going down and and, <laughs> and reached in the in the box of and treasure and got gun the dude gun, yeah, and went back there to handle some business. Get back there. There's a lot of skit going on, but all we know is Mercedes wig got pulled <laughs> off. <laughs> I be down to the core rows. I said, well, God, don't. And, they were, and then Diamond had realized that there was some skit going on because there were some gunshots. It was a lot going on. Oh, like, Diamond got back Just there. Just nothing went right that no, night. It no, really was murder everybody, night. Everybody was not on their post. It was really murder night. It was murder night. Yes, it was. So, Diamond comes around the corner and bop, bop, bop. And I said, oh, and then we saw this pool of blood coming from underneath the door. And I said, Lord, who like, shot? Who in the hell got shot? Who in the hell is yeah. shot in that goddamn room? So, I was like, it better not be on Clifford. It better not be Mercedes. And Autumn, she could, she could. Yeah, she yeah, could, she, yeah, yeah. She could yeah. get shot but not die. Yeah, yeah, just get she grazed. She ain't my favorite. You know, just graze across the home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So, they say we know we at we're there on the next day. We're we're the next day, we're day ahead. And we're day four. And this is the day that the pint so goes pint in the auction, auction, auction block. So, so all Clifford Grandma and the hoes are all dressed in black. I said, if y'all don't go somewhere with your fascinators <laughs> on on in your Sunday's best, I said, y'all motherfuckers, y'all better do it. But that's what we thought last week that they were at a funeral funeral. That's why I agree to say. I already said they got me because I thought they was going to somebody's funeral. Yeah, I thought it was going to be some 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 flower bringing and some slow singing, but yeah, it wasn't. Right. But what had that's happened That's amazing was, grace. Now, we have Andre motherfucking Watkins, God daddy, Andre's wife. Yep. And then we have everybody from the paint. And now it's time for the auction to start off. And they started off low. I think it was like 50K. Well, I can appreciate all of them coming through up there like that. Yeah. But, Even though they ain't had the money to I buy it. Say, you they know? Could've, they could have been on yeah. Skype or Zoom at that point. I don't need the moral support for me for all of us to be broke. But that was good to show how much um, they love on Clifford. Yeah. That's enough to be there with him while it goes up. Yeah. So, the bids start going up. And then, and then people start, yeah, 50, 50, 50, 100, 100. And then here comes this lady dressed in all white. Now, mind you, God Daddy is on all red like the devil. Yeah, all put, red. I can't. I can't even think of the name of the song that Mary J song in that in that dig on video which had on that white and the black glasses. I know exactly which one you talk about. I, I can't, can't think even of, think of the name. That's how she walked up in there, man. Walked in there with her white. And next thing we know, and you know, Andre nervous because both of his hoes is in the same room. Yeah, at this he was sweating. <laughs> so Autumn was like, "I'm here to bid hundred thousand." So God Daddy was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh God, you, you need to here, 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 you need here, to bid, you need to bid." So when they got up to two hundred thousand, God Daddy was like, "He, no, you got bid." He, he was like, I, they, and they gave me, they said, gave me a cat. They gave me a cat. He said, "I got to get approval to go above the two hundred thousand." Well, long story short, Autumn though came through with the two fifty. Yep. That she just took from old Octavius and bought back the pig. Hey, we still in business, y'all. We still in mother bucket business. And but I know, had, I but I would have never thought Autumn would have been the one to save the pig. No. But here's my thing. Why you had to go up? Why you couldn't just do like two fifteen, two twenty five, and do some renovations with the rest of that money? Like you go, you just gonna buy it for all that you had. I mean, she had to go hard, man. No, she didn't. She Andre had... motherfucking Watkins was at a cap. He, well, she didn't know that he was at a cap. <laughs> well, she went two fifty. If he had went two fifty and fifty cents, she would have lost. She bid it by faith. <laughs> God darn it! She, she didn't know he had a cap. When she seen him get on that telephone, she knew he had a cap. All that matters is <laughs> the pink is still open for business. And we're going to be back next season. But you know what? It's going to be good now. Because we know now that Autumn was a... Um, was a... Um, uh, a corporate accountant. A corporate accountant. So yep. that's how she knew. And that's I told y'all, when she was moving in $9,000 increments... Oh, yeah. I yeah. said she knows what she's doing. Because mm -hmm. under that $10,000 radar, they can't mess with you. Yep. They can report it, but they can't mess with you. Exactly. I said, oh, she knows what she's doing. And then when she put that stuff in the Bitcoin, I said, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what you're doing. You, you securing the now, bag. That, now, putting that liquor on the money, that's, that, just, that's just some hood street shit right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, you don't cool. learn that in corporate school. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> Depends on who your professor is. Yeah. And most professors be pimps, too. Right. But it hoodles. Yeah, man, so we saved the paint. So... Oh, Clifford and Grandma and them, they real appreciative having a conversation with um with old girl. And Uncle Clifford said, why did you do it? Like, why did you? She was like, I figured that I owed you. Mm -hmm. And now you owe me. And I said, hold on now. What we, what we talking about here? Yeah. yeah, so if you owe him and you did that, that means y'all even now. Yeah, so, so well, that's 250000 <laughs> So, But I'm trying to figure out how this new partnership going to work. That's what I was so they fifty fifty now, or oh, I or, doubt or, it. Or it's all them seventy five twenty five. Yeah, so I, I don't know, but let me tell you the part, and I saved this for last because this is the part that pissed me all the way off. Yeah. So when all of this had happened, I guess that Mercedes, her spirit is so broken right now. Like she's even kind of went down to having a conversation with Coach. Was it Coach? Whoever the dude is, but I think yeah, it's the coach. coach. Yeah. And she's trying to figure out how to get her money back up so she can do her dreams because she don't want to dance no more. 
But um, after everything had broke out in the club where she ended that early and she went to save um, Autumn Night and all this, she ended up going to the last place that anyone would ever want yeah. her to go to. And I'm like, where did you become so broken that, that she went back to her? So she went back and literally was on the concrete, on the curb, sitting there waiting for her mom like to come went. into church. Yeah. It's so that she can plead with her mom to kind of guide her back into God's grace. And she was like, you told me that God was a God of second chances. And the mama was like, and third. But she was like, you remember what? Hmm. I'm dead to you. And walked off. I said. Yeah. I'm like, you went back to the one that stole your 20 G's and your place of business. And you what? take. Yeah, how did you get desperate to go back to her? And what was uh, she going to do for you? Yeah, what's she going to do? It was almost like she was asking for her mom's forgiveness. For what? Yeah. But like you said, it was her mom's opportunity to get back into her to her good graces and she missed the opportunity. It was her mom's opportunity to get back into our graces. Be like, well, yeah. maybe Patrice isn't 100% bad. Uh, but maybe nah. she can redeem herself just a little bit. Patrice is the devil in Prada. God darn it. That's what she is. I said I'd be a modern bucking. Huh. And then they say, we know we see Mercedes come back to the paint. And Aunt Clifford was like, here, here, child, take this drink. <laughs> this is all we can do right now. And we know that Mercedes is going to be right back on the pole now until mm. she can get this thing worked up. Yeah, at least to get at least get that all the 10K. But even then, we don't know because her mama got the spot where she was going to get. Oh, we can get most spots. Yeah. We can get us but can she get it for 20 G's, though? Yeah, man. We can yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. I know Martavis got some more money somewhere. <laughs> he, obviously, he's dead. Obviously, he was the one that was we, shot. Are we sure? She thought he was dead the last time. I hope she did it right this time. Right. Well, that said, straight from the VA. Well, let's hope the Masons don't come after her or me. Hey. They're, they're the South. Two up. Two down. Holla. Holla.